so it was the sort of winter um, when I was about 11. Um, and I did a six-week trial with Yusi's son, Will, who you know. Um, I've also worked with Will. Yeah, and we spent, um, me and him spent five years together, so. Not just that, you end up living with him. <laughs> that was, a, yeah, so that was another great thing. I got the chance to, this Premier League goalkeeper, one of, in my eyes, one of the most successful, disrespected, True. underrated goalkeepers to play, which people don't really remember because he played in a Bolton team which didn't really win anything. And Yeah, but they were a team of, they started signing some unbelievable mm. players in that era and he was the, the stale, he was the first name on that team sheet week time. in, week out and they had world-class players at that point. All the time. And he hardly ever missed a game. Um, he used to have a really unusual set position where his legs would be really wide but he'd be really narrow. So it was like something that English goalkeepers hadn't really seen before. And like, so it was so different for us to see such a strange set position. But again, with like a Peter Schmeichel who had like a massive presence, they all brought their own little techniques in and we mm. were all regimented normally, English goalkeepers. From the book. Yeah, and it was from the same book. We all <laughs> got taught the same way. And anytime someone broke that rule, it was like, yeah, that's not right. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I, I get to see him on a Saturday playing in the Premier League, Saturday night or... Monday more uh, Monday evening, I'd be over at his house staying over uh, as my sort of accommodation, uh, and then we go and train. Uh, there's been times where he'd play Saturday three o'clock for Bolton Premier League. Saturday night he'd be out in the garden kicking balls. Me and Will will be kicking balls at him, or he'll be kicking balls at me and Will. Just that's amazing. And it was looking back at it now, it was crazy to think because after a game, there's nothing less I want to do is no, then go, go in the garden and, yeah. and kick some footballs. Um, especially with two sort of 12, 13 year olds who were full of energy. Um, so yeah. But in theory, you could have been trying to emulate what he had done in that game and without him actually realising it that day, he might have made a save and then you've gone home and went, should we get your dad yeah. to like take some volleys at us and see if we can do that save? It was, it was amazing because he just became a mentor without becoming a mentor. And he became an extra coach, That's probably amazing. without even realising. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's very close friends still to this day. And um, I'm hoping to get him and Will on the pod together. I yeah. think that'll be a great episode to pit them against each other it and will. Like find out how football's changed and mm. their um, own achievements. It was very hard on Will. Not too much, but um, I think because he was the only goalkeeper out of the, the three boys which he has. And he's obviously the oldest. The oldest always get a, a little bit more hard treatment, don't they? Um, also played with one of his brothers at Blackpool. Emil? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. So he's he's doing really well. He's out in America. Uh, but Robin, the younger one, he's he was always the funniest. I remember he was playing for West Ham at this point. Remember when Bale put one in the top bins, like last minute for Spurs v West Ham? Yep. <laughs> so UC then travelled home after that game and we were there the next day. And his youngest boy said, why you not save it? Why not dive? <laughs> and like me and Will are obviously there going, that's just unstoppable. And he's like, why do you not dive though? Like, why don't you just give it a go? And UC was like, oh, I didn't know, like, didn't know what to say or anything. But <laughs> it was just amazing. boy telling him to buy a ticket for the yeah. raffle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah, he was just grilling him. That's mad, Dan. Yeah.